Hello. Um, Renee, I wanted to ask you, you brought up Satisfy, which is such just a beautiful song for so many different reasons. And I wanted to know, how did you feel to be a part of something um, that is so colorblind, but it really represents what women were going through during that time and to be a part of a play that actually includes the struggles of women and also to the accomplishments. We talk a lot about Lin-Manuel Miranda and Tommy Kale and Jeffrey Teller, this kind of producing team and their choice to cast it, you know, diversely and how, how, um, how crazy and groundbreaking it was. I, I always felt it was also crazy and groundbreaking to take a time with all of the story they had to tell um, and the short amount of time they had to do it to take time and, and tell the story of a woman. Right. Um, and especially um, the supporting character woman, like um, just in terms of the drama, dramatic line in any way, shape or form, you know, my song would have been satisfied would have been cut. It does not move the plot forward. We are literally saying rewind, <laughs> rewind. Like we are literally going back and telling you another perspective of something you already saw happen. Why? Why are we doing that? It's these these this creative team that is so you know religiously follows the rules of drama broke them because they realized it was so important to to tell the story of women, um, and their, their historical role at that time, but also the struggles they had um, in the jobs that they juggled. And, and what their responsibility was to them. And I think he does that really beautifully with Angelica in that song, and he continues to do it throughout the show. He takes the time to do it with the, with the female characters that he does stop and spotlight. And, and uh, it's, it, to me, it's, it's why the show works. <laughs> and then for the um, both of you, um, Oak, you know, you're doing this play, you know, every single night, but I wanna know since for the film version, how was it actually recording and not only having to, you know, make sure you include the audience, but being filmed at the same time? Is there any difference from the show um, back in 2016, which they filmed from, you know, does this change your performance throughout the play? Uh, well, for me, the only thing, the only change was just do your show, you know, with the camera there and it's gonna be recorded for all time. Sometimes you want to put a little extra sauce here, or, you know, put a little extra stank there. But for me, I just had to remember, like, just do the damn show, like do the show that you know and you love. And I, I could speak for myself. I truly enjoyed doing that show every night. So just remember to do that. That is what got people crazy. That's what brought Barack back twice, like the show that we did. So we, I just had to remind myself, just don't change a damn thing. And uh, what a gift that now the cameras can capture what we've been doing after a year of doing it after it's in our bones, I think that's the gift is that they decided to shoot it then when all our nerves and jitters and we experienced everything that you could go wrong on stage that we're such a weld oil machine that like the cameras are just there capturing. And Tommy would say that he was like, now they can just capture it and they won't throw us off because we're just in the groove in such a way that it's undeniable what it is. So for me, I just said, just do the damn thing, do it as you know it.